Hey guys, welcome back to the 20th part in this Python series on the Django Web Framework. In these next couple of videos, I'm going to discuss how to deal with the passwords that users have. So, uh, the first one is going to be how to change a password based on the fact that the user knows their existing password and just wants to change it. And then the second part is going to be how to reset their password if they don't already have that previous password for their account. So that means they might have forgotten their password or just need to reset it without knowing that original password. So for that you have to do a bit more stuff to do with sending an email and resetting using a unique link and doing some complicated stuff like that. But in this one we're going to do the simple one which is going to be how to change your password with that original password. So you might want to change it for security reasons or whatever the case might be. So I'm going to use a built-in form for that as well. So I'm going to go to my urls.py and I'm going to define another URL. It's just going to be account forward slash uh, change password. So I'm going to add another one here. I'll just copy and paste this, save time. And I'm going to say, so it's already forward slash account, so I'm just going to say change password. Just like that. And then the views is going to be views underscore change password, which we haven't defined yet and I'm going to use the same for the name. So let's go to the views and we're going to define that. So because this is a built-in form, we're going to use the same sort of idea that we have with the other couple of views, so the register and the edit profile, both use these either built-in forms or built-in forms that we've inherited from in our forms.py to customize slightly. So in this case, I'm just using the built-in one for now and I'm going to have to import that. I'm going to say uh, password change form. I'm, I'm just going to break this up actually. So at this point this line's getting quite long. I'd rather it if it was a bit shorter. Now 80 characters is really the limit in Python so I'm just going to break that onto another couple of lines here and I'm just going to sort of make a bit of a nicer list out of it, just so it looks a little bit nicer. Uh, I'll put these on separate lines. So now that's a little bit more readable as well. So now that we've got the password change form imported, all I'm going to do is add another view, so I'm going to say def, and then it's going to be uh, change password. It's going to take request, just like every other function based view in Django. It's going to say if request.method is equal to post then we're going to create that form is equal to password change form and again it's just going to take these same parameters that we have here so I'll just copy and paste that and in fact we we want to do all this the same as well so I'm going to copy the form dot is valid as well and So now that we've got that, it's going to redirect to account forward slash profile once we've changed our password. And now I'm going to say else and deal with that get request. So that's just initializing the blank form, which is going to be form is a password change form. And that instance is not going to have any data, although we can pass the uh, user. Uh, So now we need to define that view for the change password form and really it's just going to be like any other view. So instead of just writing all the same code out again, I'm actually going to copy and paste this existing code. Uh, I'm just going to use the edit profile one which also takes the edit profile form. So first thing I need to do is change it to uh, password uh, change form because that's the form that we're using so that's going to give us the right forms hopefully. And I'm going to say the same for when we initialize that as a blank form, password change form. I'll just make sure that's that's correct. Just uh, okay, so that looks good. And it's already passing the form through to the view, so we don't have to do anything about that. 
Um, one thing that might be a problem is I don't think instance is a parameter in this particular form, uh, but we can see that if we try to go to it. So if we go to it, in fact, it's still going to the wrong template, so I better change that first. I'll just say change password, and I'd better create a page for that. I'll just duplicate this edit page one because this is just a, a simple page which displays a form, so it's nothing really special about it. So I could use the exact same page for change password and then just simply send a different form to that page. Um, but I am going to create a separate template just in case we want to customize it uh, in the future, maybe add a, add a header to say, okay, this is the uh, change password page or whatever, something like that. Um, but I'm not going to do that for now, I'll just leave it as it is. And then, so hopefully if we try this out, if we go to the URL for that page, uh, oh, we can see we've got an error here in the development server. So can I import name password change form? Ah, so I just realized what I've done. So if we go back to the views, we can see that I've imported it under the wrong thing. So it's from accounts.forms, which is clearly wrong because that form isn't in there. It's actually a default uh, Django one, which is built in. So I can... Uh, so I can actually leave this out from this particular one and I'm going to import it from the Django form. So password change form. And now this should refresh, and hopefully we haven't got any more errors. Uh, Accounts.views has no attribute change password. So I just need to rename this view to change password just to correspond with that URL that I defined for it. Uh, otherwise we have two edit views and that course doesn't make sense. Um, so now let's try that again. Have we got any errors? So it doesn't it doesn't have any errors now. So now that I've changed that, we haven't got any errors on the development server. So we should be able to go to that change password URL. So let's try that. So change password. And now we get an error. So it's missing a required positional argument and it's called user. So I thought this would happen because I mentioned here this is wrong because this password change form actually requires user. So instead of it being called instance, I don't know why they're called differently, it should just be called user or just instance, but for whatever reason they're named differently. So the user in this form is going to be taken as user. And now that should work, we refresh, wait for the development server to update and then refresh. Uh, and now we've got that change password form. Now that we've got the form to load, let's see if it's going to work. So let's put in my old password and I'm going to put in the new password and put it in again. And then I press submit. And so init got multiple values for argument user. So the reason for this error is because we specified user here, but we haven't specified what this is supposed to be. So Django's getting a bit confused thinking, what is request.post? Is it user? Is it not? Is it something else? And we have to specify, we have to be more explicit and say, uh, this is just actually just the post data. So we're going to say data equals, and hopefully that will fix that error. So now it's actually changed the password, which is good but now we're not logged in so it's also logged us out because we haven't been able to retain the security within the login system to be able to keep that user authenticated so we're going to have to call another method this is why it says anonymous user it doesn't give us our user information because request.user has been changed to anonymous user which pretty much means the user has logged out so to change that I need to go to uh, here and I'm going to import so if we go to the top I'm going to say from Django dot contrib dot auth import 
update session auth hash. So that's the name of the thing that we need to use to be able to make sure that the user is still logged in even after that redirect. So it's pretty much saying this session we want it to continue even after we change the password and redirect the user. So we have to state that explicitly. So I'm going to say update, so what I've just imported, session auth hash, and it takes a couple of parameters. So the first one is just going to be the request. So just like the render method and what, what was passed into this function, the request object. And the second one is the user itself. So in this case, we don't want the request.user because the request.user is going to be set to anonymous as it redirects. What we want is the user that was using that form to change their password. So instead, I'm going to say form.user. So that will grab the user that was trying to change their password using the form. So hopefully now, if we try it again, if I go to... Well, I'm going to have to log in again because we've just logged out and I'm going to log in with my new password. So remember, it has changed the password. So now we've logged in again, so I can go to change password. And now we're back to the same place that we were, but we have got a different password. So I'm going to type in that password, and then I'm going to change it back to the old one, just to see if, if it works this time. So I'm going to press submit, and now you can see it actually logs in the user and it maintains that login so it doesn't log us out it gives us our details which is exactly what we want now the only other thing i want to do is also if the form data is not valid i want to make sure that that is dealt with as well because we haven't actually accounted for that we have if form is valid but if it's not valid then and and there is post data submitted to that form but the form isn't valid then we're not dealing with that. So I'm just going to say else, and then I'm just going to return a simple redirect so that the user is, is still going to have somewhere to go uh, if that form data is invalid. And because that form data is invalid, we, we simply want them to enter it again. So what I'm going to do is redirect them to the same page. Uh, so I'm just going to say account forward slash change password. So that will load the same page if they're form data is for whatever reason invalid. So that's how you can change a Django user's password uh, on your website and in the next one we're going to look at how to reset that password if you haven't got access to the old password.